Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. James and Henry are both mainline engines. James takes pride in his passenger work while Henry hauls goods. The two are very good friends, but both feel themselves superior. This can oftentimes cause rivalry. One morning, Sir Topham had arrived at the sheds. He had very important news. The railway board is coming later today for their yearly inspection to make sure everything's in order. I need an engine to pull them across the island as a special. Please, Please, sir, the engines called in unison. May, May I, I pull them? Sir Topham Hat pondered. I'm sorry, Thomas, but you and Percy are busy on the branch line. Gordon, you're preoccupied with the express. That leaves James and Henry. James spoke up. I've been working so hard, sir. Surely a splendid engine like me should pull the railway board. You work hard, scoffed Henry. You said it yourself, little James. You're spotless. I do the real work. If anyone deserves to pull the railway board, it's me. Real work? Enough, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. The members of the railway board are arriving from Duck's branch line at tea time. Whoever finishes their jobs quick enough to attend the big station at that time can pull the train. Deal, Deal James and Henry said together. A punny little engine like you stands no chance boasted Henry. Better punny than fat, James retorted. I'm not as slow as you. Henry blew his whistle. We'll see. He puffed quickly out of the sheds. The race was on. Henry bolted into the yard and found his heavy goods waiting. You're early, said the foreman. Good thing, too. You have three goods trains to pull today. Three, cried Henry. That won't do at all. He thought for a moment, then smiled broadly. I'll pull all three in one go. Don't be ridiculous, scoffed the foreman. I'm not. I've pulled heavier before. The foreman considered. Very well, but remember to pace yourself, Henry. You don't want a strain. Henry wasn't paying attention. Henry arranged all three goods trains into one, then backed down excitedly. With a wish of steam and a whistle... The mighty engine heaved out of the yard. Meanwhile, James was waiting impatiently at the docks for his trucks to be loaded. Hurry up, hurry up, he grumbled. I haven't time for your laziness today, Cranky. I don't take orders from mites like you, Cranky cranked. Wait! But James couldn't wait. He was still fussing when Toby trundled in. Morning, James. Cross as ever, I see. James thought of a cheeky idea. Why, of course I am, Toby. I've been waiting all this time for you. Toby was puzzled. What for? This train is yours, don't you remember? Last time I checked, I was due for the quarry. Oh, well, I must have forgotten. Thanks for arranging my trucks, James. Any time, James said slyly. James sniggered quietly. Marvelous, James, you are a genius. The two engines now had their plans in motion. Henry wheezed down the main line. He was pushing himself hard. Easy, boy, cautioned his driver. Slowing down wouldn't hurt. Yes, it would, panted Henry as he strained up the hill. James relaxed at the big station, waiting for engines to pass by. He'd call to them. Hello, Oliver. I have a message for you. Good day, Duck. Over here a second. Sir Topham Hat has a very important job for you, Percy. All the while waiting casually for the railway board, James was delighted. 
poor old Henry. I'm sorry he's slow. Hours passed. James was dozing peacefully by the station platform where he shouldn't have been. He was awoken by a whistle. Ah, it's the railway board, and Henry is nowhere in sight. The whistle was ducks. He was puffing towards the station with the railway board in tow. But James was blocking his line. When Duck saw this, he whistled frantically, Get out of the way, James! As he smashed into the back of James. Duck and James were off the rails. What were you doing on the platform? Duck fumed. Before James could reply, the railway board stepped out from the coach, unharmed. They surveyed the damage. Hmm. Engine sitting unauthorized by platform. A pair of brakes not fit for crisis. What a shame. Quite. Can't say I was expecting better, but on our first hour, too. <laughs> then a meek whistle echoed through the station. Everyone looked to see a faint, sickly, out of puff, Henry crawling into sight. Before he could stop, there was a loud snap. Henry halted at once and cried out in pain. Ah! The driver jumped out of the cab and looked Henry all over. Oh, something's broken inside you, Henry. I warned you. Henry didn't have the strength to reply. He could only watch as the railway board took notes. Good going, called James. Really helped with our reputation. Says the, the one off the rails, Henry panted. Then, Sir Topham Hat raced up. He was shocked at what he saw. What on earth happened here? Silly Henry took multiple trucks at once to finish quicker, explained the driver. Sir Topham Hat rubbed his forehead in disbelief. Now of all days... Who'd expect? James sneered. And you, boomed the fat controller. You should have been waiting for your work. What were you doing by the platform? James thought of words carefully. You see, sir, I had just got back after a hard day's work. I delivered my milk to the dairy, fish to the market, and... Fish to the market? Duck interrupted. I took the fish to the market as you told me to. Sir Topham Hat pointed at James. Explain yourself. James gulped. The other engines may have been so kind as to help me with my work while well, thinking it was theirs. I'm sorry, sir, but the railway board deserves the best of the best, not a thoroughbred. Thoroughbred? Henry wished. You dinky scheming. James and Henry, bellowed Sir Topham Hat. That is enough. I understand you two proving yourself above the other, but at whose cost? He paused. Was it worth it? No, sir, stuttered James. No, Henry said meekly. Due to the measures you took, we'll have to call in another engine to take the railway board. I don't think that will be necessary, Topham, interjected a board member. We've seen everything we need to see. Things here are just as we thought, counterproductive. Sir Topham Hat turned ferociously to the engines. You'll be fetched and taken to the works, was all he said before storming away. James looked guilty at Henry. We might have overdone it a tad. I'd certainly say so, called Duck from behind. Henry and James shared a grin. The two engines had a decent time at the works. They didn't much enjoy the other's company, but Henry was too wary to object, and James was enjoying the rest. Days later, Thomas came to greet them. Hello, you two. I have news. Gordon's broken down and the express is due in an hour. Leave it to me, little Thomas, sighed Henry. I'm better than ever now. You're no better than a grubby little tank engine, laughed James. At least you're good at something. Thomas watched with interest as James and Henry raced out of the works.